is clearly a genocide going on, right? Yeah, how can they say evacuate, but then there's what? no internet and no power? How, where, how do where, where are they going to go? Exactly, where are they going to go? Where are they going to go? Yeah. And how, who, who has the right to, to one million people leave your homes? You know, like, and it is their own home? land. Exactly. Would you right. say, shall I go to your home and say, now I've stayed one day, now it's become my home, you go. Yeah, yeah. And if you don't go, I'm going to kill you. That's what yeah, is yeah. happening. Yeah, I know, I know. It's, it's terrible. It's I mean, awful, awful. this is what happening nowadays. It's, it's just unbelievable to think. Yeah, yeah. And it's normal. We've got the uh, Conservatives and Labour, both just and now, allowing it. Like, yeah. 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 Not only that, they're going to Israel and supporting yeah. the so act. I hope, I hope you win. Would, win. Would, you, would you ever support a baby killer? I mean, I, 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 used, I used to be a Labour voter, but I can't now. Uh -huh. no, I mean, not. What I find uh, it's amazing with the Palestinian is what kept them alive is their faith. Yeah. Because they have the strong faith that look, none of them receive justice in this world. None of them, not yeah. a single one of them. Look at that, if you killed by someone, where is the justice? Yeah. You have a right to live, right? Yeah. I have the right to live. Yeah. I cannot take your life, you cannot take my life. Like, yeah. right? This is the human right we talked about. Yeah, Simple yeah. language. Yeah? Now, if you kill someone, then you take in the right of someone. Yeah, yeah. And, and this, is, this is the biggest crime. Yeah. You know, with Holy Quran, I'm a sincere believer, believer in God. Yeah. And Allah said that if you kill one person, yeah. as if you kill entire humanity. Yeah. And if you save one person, as if you save entire humanity. Yeah. This is how, you know, Quran laid out justice. And I believe Palestinian, they have the strong faith. Because we believe yeah, course, yeah. that justice will not happen in this world. Do you agree? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. imagine you do all the good things. Where can you get the uh, uh, the reward of your good work? What's that, sir? You know, imagine if you do all the uh, uh, you if you do continuously good work throughout yeah. your life, and you didn't re receive no mercy, no uh, reward, right? Yeah, yeah. That means it's meaningless. Whatever you have done, whatever yeah. I have done. Yeah. So what we believe, like as a Muslim, yes, yeah. this is a journey we will face. We will yeah. face this calamity, we will face yeah. this prosecution, but this is not end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we believe there will be a day of judgment and Allah yeah. will resurrect everyone. What's your take on this? Yeah. Do you think there will be a day of judgment? Personally, I'm an atheist. Yeah. Likewise. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, so how, how do you reconcile justice in your understanding? I mean, sometimes it doesn't happen. I mean, look at Palestine today. Yeah. Where's the justice? Yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, for me it's maybe easy. For, yeah, yeah. for me it's easy to reconcile this stuff because I end, believe yeah. there is a day of judgment, yeah, and yeah. any atrocity committed against someone, yeah. God will repay it back, yeah, right? Yeah. Even so much so, the person will not remember what happened to them. Yeah. So, you know, I don't know whether you looked into Islam uh, yeah. as a religion. Have you looked into it or um, not to practice it? Just yeah. yeah. Like, what about you? Um, Got a huge amount. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And and do you know the concept of belief in Islam or? Uh, uh, yeah, I know some things about it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Like you know, we don't have any human creation. We don't believe that God is a yeah. uh, someone in the sky holding the stick. We don't yeah, believe yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So our belief of God is unlike the creation. So if we if we look at the creation itself, totality. Yeah. This is creation. This is not creator. The okay. creator is unlike the creation. Okay. So there is one very uh, amazing argument within the Quran itself is drawing attention to the reader the thing uh, Quran proposed few uh, very simple arguments yeah we ask it asked a human being that where did it everything come about yeah did it come about by itself or did it come about by nothing yeah yeah right so we know that nothingness yeah. cannot produce something yeah. self creation is an absurd idea so yeah. by default there is something now, whether you want to believe a Hindu God, Muslim God, and Christian God, now you can evaluate the yeah, rest yeah. of the proposition. Yeah. So this is how it's engaging reader. Because, look, ultimately, our life would be meaningless if there is no afterlife. Yeah. Imagine you have a very kind intention to support Palestinians. And I honestly, I admire you. And I, I thank you yeah. that you, even though they are not in your own faith, yet you come. Yeah. Well, to me, yeah. Well, I don't believe in an afterlife but I do think there's you know there's a reason to you know do good things in this life it's mm -hmm. just making other people's lives better yeah you know 
you know, trying to spread happiness mm -hmm. in your own life. Mm -hmm. Even if you're not rewarded in the afterlife, you know, making other people's lives better, that is the reward. Yeah, I mean, I you know, you know, like prophets and messengers, those people claim and tell that I am from God. People used to ask those same questions. Mm -hmm. And you know what they used to respond? They used to say, okay, how can I believe when I'm died and disintegrated and I'm, I'm gone, right? Yeah. I'm not in the scene of the world. How can God find me? You know, God said, how can you disbelieve in God that you were non-existent before yeah. and then you existed? Yeah. Once you die, yeah. I will just need to repeat the process again from non-existent to existent again. Yeah. So why are you disbelieving me? Because God is not asking you to believe something new, rather he is asking you to believe in whatever you have witnessed. Do you get my point? I do, yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you get my point? So that's why we say that it's rational, logically possible yeah. that you can come into existence. But now that's supported by the idea of prophets and messengers like miracles, right? Like some of the miracle can be tested and some of the miracle cannot be tested. Yeah. Objectively. Like imagine if you say, oh, show me Moses parted the sea. I would say, I, yeah. I didn't see that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't see that. Yeah. So, of course, I'll have to trust the source, right? Yeah. Now, if you say, if you say, no, I wanted to see something miracle for me yeah. in, now, in current time. Yeah. As a Muslim, we believe Quran is the, a, a, a miracle. Quran, the book itself, okay, yeah. is a miracle. Yeah. When I say miracle, you know, it, it gives different connotation to different people. Yeah, yeah. Based on their understanding of the miracle. Yeah. When we say miracle, miracle means something cannot be possible to create other than the prophets and messengers. Like yeah. for example, Muhammad peace be upon him, he also, also saw physical miracle. Like he yeah. healed companion by spitting on their uh, eyesight, yeah. right? So one of the companion was healed, he spat. Yeah. Like all of the miraculous nature has been mentioned in our tradition, Islamic tradition. But one miracle you can challenge yourself you can look it up yourself it's just the linguistic miracle of the Quran okay. linguistic miracle is something that God said that this is a book I revealed in Arabic language and there are two types of many types of challenges but two challenges that can in Western ideas you know Western mind can look yeah. into it closely but the other challenges that other challenges that can you create a fly can you create a fly, right? Okay. Yeah, things like that. So these are like a physical yeah. uh, ability challenge. There are challenges like produce a book like it. So this Quran has been, uh, this Quran was given by, uh, to Prophet by Angel Gabriel. So yeah. God revealed to this, right? okay. revealed to uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad directly through Angel Gabriel. Yeah. And then he memorized it, he passed down and this way, this book has been preserved through memory. Yeah. Millions of people memorize this book. Yeah. Now the question is, within this book, it mentioned about the challenge. It's challenges that if you think this book is other than God, then you will find contradiction in it. If you think this book is other than God, then produce a chapter like it. Produce a full chapter, a full book like it, or produce a ten chapter like it. Yeah. Now the shortest challenge for me and you yeah. to objectively challenge is one chapter like it, which is the smallest chapter in the Quran three line yeah. now imagine if you can produce something like Quran you can say look I beat the Quran yeah. now there must be something in the Quran objectively telling you to challenge it let me break the challenge for you let's say we have three lines three line has 30 words mm -hmm. these 30 words in such a way constructed it brings the information, it brings the theme, it brings the rhetoric, it brings the different stylistic, and it brings so many features. Now let's let me put it that way. I given you ten brick. I given you ten brick, and I give you. Ten, I take my ten brick. Same yeah. equal ten brick. Yeah. So that ten brick is equal to the ten letters. Let's say. Okay. Yeah. I make a building. Yeah. All of the brick are not touching one another. Yeah. But you cannot make it with the same brick, but your 
one brick is touching one another. Your is touching one another. And I give everybody in the world yeah. 10 brick each, yeah. and none can produce a building like me. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's unique. Yeah. Right, unique. That tells us that even if you have the raw material, yeah. still you not, won't be able to challenge it. Okay. That is what Quran does. People looked at the challenge of the Quran. Linguistics. You can look it up a book called uh, The Structure of the Quran, uh, if I'm not uh, mistaken, the author called uh, Raymond Farin. Okay. Raymond Farin, he wrote a book, the, uh, the Structure of the Quran, and how it cannot be imitable. Mm -hmm. There are something we can copy, something yeah. we can imitate. Like if someone say, can you make Shakespeare's poetry? Of course, I can't do it, but if we gather together, we'll be able to produce it. But the Quran is unlike that. Even, you know, with AI. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. AI said we cannot, because it's, it's, it's beyond their understanding. Okay, yeah. Right? So what it does tell you, that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, along with his, along with his fantastic character, he was aided with physical miracle, and then he was given a book that no way producible. Yet, the people noticed that he never lied his entire life. Never. Do you think that man will make up a lie about God? Do you see? So that shows that the compelling evidence for Islam. So that's why even if people take gun on Muslim, I know for the fact the, the way I know myself, I know the reality of hereafter, the reality of God exists. Yeah. So it's about testimony. Like imagine, you, you know, everybody, we basically, most of the stuff we do in our life based on testimonial evidence. People yeah. tell you, if your mother tells you, I've cooked chicken for you, yeah. you won't say, oh, nice lie. Yeah. <laughs> you see, you don't believe it. Yeah, yeah. It's based on, she all, all the time she spoke the truth. Yeah. Why should she even lie? Now imagine, if Prophet Muhammad, after preaching this religion, he would get some authority, we could say he has a motive. Yeah. But, but it's other way around. Because he was, he was offered by the community, he was offered by the community, we will make you the chieftain, we will make you king, we will give you woman. Whatever you want, we give you. But only one condition. And what is the condition? He said, don't preach the message of God. And he said, do you know why he said? He said, if you give sun in one hand and moon in one hand, I will not refrain from this message. That shows that he is sincere with his mission. And now if we look back to the previous messengers, like Abraham, Noah, Jesus, they all came with exemplary character, with miracle to prove their point, yeah. and community witness it. But the Quran, it's an objective test criteria for everyone. Yeah. The book is with you. So that is, that's why I feel as a Muslim, I have the belief, look, whatever happening in this world, it's not end here. You see, so that's why I wanted to share the same belief, shame with my brothers and sisters. Because I yeah. believe a lot of people don't have the information. You don't want to judge them. Because if someone doesn't know, you don't want to judge them, right? Yeah. Rather share them about the message of Islam. And I thought this is a fantastic opportunity to share why Palestinians are so strong. Why Muslims are so strong. It was a pleasure talking to you, you know, and I, I believe, you know, um, you know, What's your name? Aziz. Aziz. You can, you can watch it up in Dawa to Soul. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Dawa to Soul, you know, if you have any comments, you know. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I hope, you know, the message is clear to you. If, do you have any questions? Yeah, have a look it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Thank you, thank you for your, yeah, Aziz. Yeah. It's nice yeah, to be here. Yeah. Yeah. Look, yeah. look after yourself. Look after yourself. Yeah. YouTube, yeah. thank you, thank you. Yeah. Uh, may Allah guide them to Islam. They are very sincere, although they don't have a belief, but they don't know about Islam. I ask Allah that, uh, you know, He can guide them to Islam. Assalamu alaikum.